and we're so proud of him. Karibu sana mheshimiwa Dede Nyoro, useme nasma kofi mazuri ya mheshimiwa Dede. Asante sana my brother Kenya, His Excellency the President of Kenya and our mentor Dr. William Samoe Ruto, His Excellency the Deputy President, His Excellency Rigathi Gashagua, familia ya dugu yangu mheshimiwa Medhu tukiogozwa na our mom all your siblings and the entire family our clergy led by our bishops and also the reverend who gave us the word reverend Kanyi viogozi wote tukiogozwa na governor wa hapa Nyandarwa na wananchi wenzangu bwana Yesu asifiwe god is good and all the time Mheshimiwa Rais yagu itakuwa machache pia lakini kabla nipeane rabirambi niruhusu niseme ya kwamba huyu kijana mwenzangu ametoka hapa Mheshimiwa Kwenya ni my brother lakini Mheshimiwa Rais alitusubua sana wakati ya campaign <laughs> Turingangana tukangangana lakini kijana my brother Mungu akakujalia and I want to congratulate you and the people of Kinagop kwa kuwa na mjumbe ambaye anafuata maneno yao sawa sawa. <laughs> Nigetaka pia mheshimiwa rais nikupogeze sana as our president. To be honest, we are no longer counting the number of times you have come to Nyandarwa. Leo tutira matara toriuga kama sio maingi. Todo munene ni atwedete fiyo. Oka gadere atura higura miradi. Lere atu na gekeno na lere atu na kirero ta mudanya toyo. Kwa ni yaba ya hawa watu mheshimiwa rais ne tugane thegio mono 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 ne kwenda adwa nya darwa. Na mheshimiwa rais mimi nigetaka nilete rabirabi kwa my brother. Mheshimiwa Medho. Nilikuwa hapa last week talked with Mweshimiwa Medho and I can clearly see that Muse was not just a father to Medho but was a friend. Medho ni shuja lakini vile niliona hii maneno ime mugonga ni kajua ya kwamba he must have been very close to you Mweshimiwa Medho na diyo maana tumekuja to offer our shoulders for you to lean on. Mweshimiwa Medho Ukipep, ukipata nafasi nigetaka uende kwa bibiria Ecclesiastes the entire book because i know you can read it within a very short time and especially chapter 4 and you'll see that muse is basically in a better place than all of us i was here and i told you let me just tell you because najua kushika maneno kwa saa hizi ni gumu because i've also been there before mheshimiwa rais when we were doing campaigns Mimi kuna maneno nilifanya sijui kama ni mzuri ama ni baya. Mimi nikaenda kanisa saa zingine wakati ya campaign mheshimiwa president tunaenda kanisa kama tano on one Sunday. Na tugateli mtu waherere mwene tukago guo ile tureda kura. So siku moja mimi nikaenda kanisa ya ACK huko kwetu Muranga town. Ya town ina economic services. So I went to the to the morning service. Na yule alihubiri akahubiri vizuri sana. Akasema let's go to Luke chapter Luke 12:24. Na akasema kama the ravens hakuna inaenda kwa shamba na mugu anazijalia akatuuliza na sisi binadamu wenye ametuuba kwa mfano yake we must be very close to his, to his heart. Na kwa sababu nilikuwa natafuta kura nikaona hiyo ni my word lakini Nikaona ananiambia niwache kuore too much Mungu atanijalia hapo bere. Na vile hiyo wadi niguza ile kanisa nilikuwa naenda next. Nikajua nitaenda na hii Bible verse. <laughs> Lakini sana sana sikuhubiri wacha nitubu nilikuwa naenda na hiyo ndio wa Kristo waona na jua Bible wajue siwezi ponyoka na CDF. <laughs> so I went to my second Sunday service na wakati nilipewa nafasi nikasema Christians let's go to Luke Chapter 12, Luke 
24-12 ama 12-24. Nita, nita angalia vizuri hapa nikikaa chini. <laughs> na hiyo siku makofi ilipigwa nikajua kura imepatikana. <laughs> Lakini nataka mheshimiwa Methu you take it not on a light note. La kwamba Mungu anatupenda alituuba kwa mfano yake. We must be very precious to him. I know he'll give you peace of mind, he'll console you and he'll he's going to uh, he'll continue strengthening you. Nikienda kumaliza. Mheshimiwa president, mimi hata kama tunaaga mzee, mzee was very hard working. Allow me to say ya kwamba the way mzee was hard working, the way Medo is very hard working. Mheshimiwa president, you have taught us to be hard working. Juzi nimeona katika takwimu zimetolewa that the GDP of Kenya in the third quarter of 2023 grew by 5.9%. A growth that is higher than even China. In fact, the growth of the Kenyan GDP is now 27th fastest growing economy in the world. Mweshimua President, I also saw that the inflation in Kenya is actually now at 6.6%, which is the lowest in 20 months. Mweshimua President, saa zigine tunaweza kusukuma sana kama wananchi. So that you do even more. But we appreciate the much you are doing. Because for sure, now what we are seeking is to continue with that growth, but even much more to spread it so that even Kenyans can feel the GDP in their pockets. And I know that is what you are doing. That is why you have told us in the budget committee, most of the money must go to agriculture. Tumeweka pesa kwa fertilizer. Tumeweka pesa kwa wakulima wa kahawa. Tumeweka pesa ya mopping out milk. Wakati kama hii kukinyesa sana, maziwa inaenda bei chini. Ukatuwabia tuweke pesa, diyo maziwa ya wakulima, bei siyede chini sana. Tumeweka pesa katika elimu ya watoto wa Kenya. 700 billion. Mr. President, mimi nataka ni kupongeze for the good work you are doing. And very lastly, juzi ni meona, Tuki sheherekea maneno ya new year. Nikaona wale wapinzani wako na hile binu yao. Ado agamati ni mana ato manyawe gato yu na amedho. <laughs> Ta imagine ito higwiri ya temakiwani magu yetia maadamano. Medho, tonedame nyaga inyagu kwa hedhayo. Kore ya naido fitu inawe hapa kwa hapa. Ado asyo tuwe heredie presidenti mori gosyo. Ado tigire na amedho na kemanisho ngoa. Tomafuru use maadamano matigu kuro omekuo. Tumeona wanasema ati wanataka kuleta maadamano tena. Mimi nataka ni wabia wamechelewa. Unajua 31st of December ilikuwa hile siku ya kufuka mwaka. Waacha kutuwabia watareta maadamano 2024. Wamechelewa. Ata wagepaga moja ya kufuka mwaka. Hakuna wakenya wataedarea kutisha tena ati maneno ya maadamano. Mr. President, focus on your work. All these naysayers in opposition. Waedarea kufanya kazi yao. Ya checking government Lakini maneno ya maadamano ya kuharibu mali ya wananchi Hiyo tumekataa kabisa Na to the sponsor of those maadamano Who is the former president of this republic Tafadhali Wakenya walikupea 10 ten, ten years 10 ten years ni heshima ya juu sana Na mimi nasema hivi nikijua vile na, nasema Hatusemi hii maneno to blame anyone We are saying them because it's the reality The former president Please Hawa wa Kenya walikuheshimu waka kupea miaka kumi. Wacha kutumia pesa yako kusponsor vijana wa ede maadamano. Wacha kusponsor makesi katika mahakama. Ati wapike housing project yenye inaajiri hawa vijana. Na wewe mwenyewe ukua president, you sabotaged the same program so that your private program called Northern, Northern City can take precedence of the general public's uh, interest. Mweshimua retired president. Tafadhali, wewe fanya ritaya yako pole pole. Wacha kuhada wa Kenya na maneno ya kusponsor makesi. Kwa sababu wata hiyo makesi itashidwa. Na wewe mwenyewe hiyo Northern City, ulitumia pesa ya uma ukajega barabara. Dhuru Kenha, mimi nimeiona hapo. Inapita hiyo Northern. Pesa ya uma.